All right, very first ever milling project for myself with the Granberg uh, nine foot rail system and the 36 inch uh, mill. So let's see how it goes. This is a first experience, so it's a complete learning. Here we go. Alright, so I've got the Granberg ripping chain. Uh, this one is 114 drive links and it's 3 8 pitch. Uh, the way this is designed, so you get a full tooth, half tooth, half tooth, full tooth, full tooth, half tooth, half tooth, full tooth, full tooth. So that should cut less and I guess in keep the chain speed up is the thought so just a tip when you put on a new chain if you soak it in bar oil or motor oil it gets all all in your chain just something that you might want to try I did it on my last one seems seems to work you can never have too much oil so uh, I'm gonna let this soak while I'm getting this built And I probably should have a little bit more oil. This is bar oil. Some people use old motor, motor oil, but probably for this, motor oil would be okay. But I wouldn't put, personally, wouldn't put motor oil in my chainsaw because you got all that carbon that's going to build up. But let me know uh, your thoughts on it. Did I mention I forgot the instructions? So. I'll just do my best. I've got that all tightened, set at five inches. Uh, that should get me down in this log good enough to where I'll, I'll have a pretty good board. Probably most of the way will be about four inches. 
uh, it kind of gets narrow here in the center so we're gonna see I'm gonna have a problem it looks like these right here are sticking up I may have to start over on this rail also need to let this rail stick out so you can get the chainsaw nail on it I'm not sure how that's gonna work right now So here's a little tip that I've kind of trying to figure out. Level on each end and not really worry about the center. Just make, make sure these set touch. Also, you see how this log goes up and down. Uh, you got to be careful with these dogs sticking down. You, you've got to make sure you have enough clearance. That's one thing. If you come across here and you hit your spike, you're going to run your chain. You're going to tear up your meal. Not a good thing. So that's a quick tip. Let's see if we can get this uh, this board mill. One more last check. All right, so last check. It looks like four and a half is gonna work. So there's no need to cut waste that whole half inch. I'm gonna go ahead and move it to four and a half. <laughs> 